Oh, that's nice. You get to treffen the doll to put water in its face. That's not at all creepy. Hello, and welcome to another episode of How Much Will I Hate This? Honest Mom Reviews of the Stuff Your Kids Are Begging For. This is a series of reviews designed to let parents know what they actually care about when it comes to thinking about buying toys for your tiny humans. So I don't really care about how cool it is or what it does or how much your kids are gonna love this. Instead, I'm looking at how hard is it to get out of the package? How difficult is it to set up? Is it really, really, really annoying? If you haven't seen the first two episodes, be sure to check those out. And if you've got a toy that your kids are begging for and you're not really sure how much you're gonna hate it, drop that in the comments. Okay, on to the review. I, I'm not gonna lie, I am automatically skeptical of this one. It's from Crybabies, which does not bode well for playability. I think it's gonna be really annoying. Uh, but we're not we're not in the prediction game. No, automatically, you can't see it yet. So there's the instructions. Okay. It's zip tied in. So you automatically start at box cutter. There's so many zip ties. That's that's better than I expected. It did have zip ties, but uh, it just took the one box knife to get out. So box cutter and a broken nail and she's free of her packaging. Okay, set up. I think all she needs is batteries and that compartment is back here underneath her shirt and you do have to pull her little baby drawers down and I need the screwdriver. There are three screws to her battery compartment. Oh, and she comes with batteries. Probably could have turned her on and found that out for myself. On. Okay. No. Okay, so she's apparently gonna keep making those sounds. Shut up. So there are on her little baby bum four settings. Try me, never gonna use that one. On, and something called purge. Okay, so for setup, she gets five stars. She comes assembled. Uh, when you first take her out of the box, you don't even have to change her batteries straight out. So five stars, comes assembled. All right, so we got a little uh, peekaboo of playability. Um, I'm not holding out high hopes. Let's turn her back on and play with her for a sec. Okay, she's gonna keep talking. Uh, as far as her clothes go, they're really easy to get on and off. Why am I stripping the doll naked? because that's what our kids do. We know that. Okay, so yeah, your child is immediately, oh no, you can't, <laughs> you can't take her clothes off. They're stuck to her. Your kids can only partly undress her. I don't know if that's a problem for your kid, but my kid will immediately be mad that I can't change her shirt because there is a mechanical piece that I don't know what it does yet, but it prevents the shirt from coming off. Shoes are easy to put on means they're easy to get off, so they'll be gone in, what, two hours? What are you doing? <laughs> She's sighing dramatically. Why are you crying? It's crying for no reason. And I don't know how to make it better. Are you okay now? No, we're still, we're still mad. Oh God, it's like having an infant again. What is wrong with you? Do you want the toy? Do stop, I don't know why you're mad. Take the passy, take the passy. Take the passy, you dumb bitch. That made you happy. Is it actually sucking on the passy? That's low key creepy. So she keeps making these little baby noises. I do not know what this little port is for. The pacifier doesn't fit in it. The only toy that fits in there is this weird little sippy cup. I don't know what the port is for. I don't know why you're crying! God, I wish babies came with an actual off switch. What are we doing with her eyes? That's in German, don't read it in German. Oh, that's a lot of instructions. Okay, so in order to figure out how to play with her, she is not terribly intuitive. You do have to read the instructions. Important information operation with batteries. Filling the tank. There's a tank? Where? 
Pur oh, that the purge has to, the doll cries. The doll requires water and it cries. Instructions have told me 17 ways to be safe with it. I still don't know how to put the water in the damn thing. Somewhere in the top of her head is a reservoir. Oh, that's nice. You get to treffin the doll to put water in its face. That's not at all creepy. Oh, my finger's stuck. Okay, well, adult fingers can get stuck in the doll's skull. I'm gonna go get some water. I'm opting for a funnel because I know me. How much water? I don't know. Oh, less than that. I'm gonna go get a paper towel. Okay, so it really doesn't hold that much water, but this is a toy that gets wet, so marks against it. How much spilled out? Most of it. Okay, she's not terribly stable and doesn't really sit well on her own. So again, I feel very much like I'm parenting things. Don't like it. I'm already past this stage. Okay, and this is what this purge function is apparently for, to get the air out of the lines so she can cry properly. Her pump's going. Her skull squeaks while it's doing it. Oh, it sounds like she's chewing on gravel. It's quiet, but that's an icky sound. Our... How do I know when it's done purging? Oh, there she goes. And now she's crying. Okay. Stop purging. Stop purging. Honestly, I feel like they could have picked a better word than purge. Oh, it's getting... I'm gonna go get a towel. Were you just sobbing the whole time I was gone? I have to use this space later. That was rude. So now she has... She cries real tears that I had to pour into a hole in her skull. She does have normal hair, but again, there's just a giant hole there. So that's interesting. Stop crying. Now we're on. Okay. Well, now we know she cries and there isn't really a good way to shut her up. Yeah. The toy just makes itself wet. She's asleep. Probably. I hate this. Don't giggle at me. What am I supposed to do with you? This is birth control. This is not a child's toy. This is just, you want kids? Fucking here. She's cute. Until she starts doing that. Her face moves a lot. Okay, we're gonna turn you off. Oh, we're back to crying. Okay, um, playability, I, I hate this for a lot of reasons. You do have to add water to her skull and she just cries randomly. I still don't actually know how to make her not cry. Um, so motherhood flashbacks. Yeah, this is a one star. I hate this toy. It gets everything wet. It gets the toy wet, it gets the clothes wet. And then she's mechanical, so she's not like a bath toy. This is illegal under the Geneva Convention. One star. Okay, so uh, durability. First, high marks, there's not a whole lot of pieces to lose. It comes with the two shoes, the cup, the toy. This is permanently strapped to her. The shirt is permanently strapped to her and the pants do come off. So as far as amount of pieces that your kid's gonna get pissed because they lost, not many. I'm okay with that. Uh, durability elsewhere, her face. Oh, you can like put a full finger in her mouth and you can kind of feel the mechanism that makes her lips move. My kids are going to shove their fingers in there and break those lip mechanisms and probably pull up the silicon piece. It feels pretty solid, but whoever designs toys, I don't think have ever seen the destructive, healthy nature of a child. It's not, it's not bad, but I can foresee this part giving up pretty quick. Everything else, the hair, is on there really good. It's actually not like cheaply made. She's still crying on me. Durability, I'm gonna go ahead and give it four stars, even with this mouth thing. So I think this thing will hold up until they're bored playing with it. 
Okay, so by the math, she gets an overall rating of three stars. I, it's going to drive me, it's going to, this toy will trigger me. Let's just be honest, because it cries all the time. I'm sure I can figure out how to make her stop crying, but is my daughter going to make her stop crying or is she going to be amused that her face is leaking constantly? Probably that latter one. So one is the lowest star I can give her for playability. Why is one the low? It's my completely made up rating system. Zero stars. So that knocks her down to a 2.75 stars. You'll, you'll hate this. Don't, don't get this toy unless patience is a gift that the gods, the higher powers, the universe gave you. Ready? Super fast. Ta-da! This is the Crybaby's First Emotions Dreamy Interactive Baby Doll with 65 plus emotions and baby sounds. I got it on Amazon for $45.89 USD, but it is not currently available on Amazon at the time this video is released. You can, however, get it from Target for $37.79 on sale or Walmart for $46.88 not on sale. She is available in a couple different skin tones, which is cool. Obviously, I've shown the white one. Thanks so much for watching. How much will I hate this? Honest mom reviews of shit your kids are begging for. Uh, be sure to like this video, leave a comment, smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That's all very good and helpful things. If you have a toy that your kid is begging for and you want to see an honest mom review of how much you're going to hate it, leave a comment, let me know. And I'll see if I can get a hold of it and let you know how shitty it's going to be for you to give that toy to your child. Thanks.